What's going on everybody? This is James White with Frequent Reviews bringing you as seen on TV product reviews, gadget reviews, and more. Now if you like what you see in this video, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. Now today I'm comparing five different ice cream scoops. That's right, ice cream scoops. A while back I asked people what they thought I should compare and this was on that list and I thought it might be interesting to see if there's a big difference between the range of ice cream scoops. Now I've got five of them from cheap one at the dollar store all the way up to this luxurious model which cost me $35 on Amazon. So without further delay, let's get right to five ice cream scoops compared. All right, so let's take a closer look at these ice cream scoops before I crack out the ice cream and start scooping. First up, we've got the dollar store ice cream scoop. It feels pretty sturdy, yeah, ish. Uh, next up, uh, from Big Lots, I paid $5.50 for this one. It's the Farberware. It's got the uh, easy action release, which I don't know how easy that is. Then we've got the OXO, which also has easy action release, and that one feels a little smoother. KitchenAid, this one, uh, popular brand. I, I enjoyed their can opener, my can opener comparison. Let's see if the ice cream scoop can come through. And once again, the luxury ice cream scoop. This is called the Midnight Scoop. And it's designed to be pushed into hard ice cream, allowing it to use large muscles and protect weak wrists. Can it possibly be worth $35? Let's find out. By the way, this was $1, $5.50, $9, $11, and 35 bucks. I should point out the first job I ever had was in an ice cream shop in Riverside, California, so I have professional experience scooping ice cream. All right, I've taken the other ones out of the packaging, but I wanna unbox this one on camera. This box says it's the world's first ergonomic ice cream scoop. Very fancy packaging here. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. Oh, that is a heavy scoop. All right, I'm gonna go uh, wash this one off. So I'm really trying to look at ice cream scoops for home use, not so much professional use. So I kind of left out some of the electric ones, some of the heated ones. I just kind of want to stick with the manual handheld ice cream scoops and see if the range is really different because I got the $1 to $35 scoops. And I really, uh, there's a, a weight difference for sure, but is there a function difference? I want to find that out. But a lot of people have suggested other ice cream scoops, like the electric ones, the ones with the water in the handle. So I might do those on a second edition down the road. But for now, I'm going with the manual scoops and uh, get started in a minute. I do want to point out that Consumer Reports did a comparison of ice cream scoops back in 2013. And it was pretty bad for Consumer Reports. They had these people scooping out of these tiny pint-sized containers, which how are you really going to get a good scoop out of a pint-sized container? Come on now. Consumer Reports, you can do better than that. So although my test is not going to be scientific, it is not scientific, okay? But it will be better than Consumer Reports, I assure you of that. I will scoop them as fast as I can to get through it before the ice cream has a chance to melt. Got some Blue Bunny ice cream here, and it's cold. It is cold ice cream. We have first up the Dollar Store ice cream scoop. Okay, not terrible. Not bad, really. Could, could be worse. Of course, not the most impressive scoops in the world either, though. Kind of flat. Let's go with the Farberware, the 550 one from Big Lots. It has this fancy quick release on it. Ugh. Oh, wow. Ugh. Ugh. Well, I really had to push hard. Actually, harder than the dollar store one, but is this going to work? Oh, it just spit on the table. It just spit. I'm trying to scoop this. Oh, it really takes some effort on this one. The handle kind of works. So far, I'm not, I'm not having these impressive scoops here. Let's try the OXO. All right, this one's definitely pushing through the ice cream more easily than the Farberware did. Ugh. I'm a professional, guys. I know what I'm doing. Okay, this one seemed to go through a lot easier. Got two more to go. Now for the KitchenAid, which is heavier. It's heavier than the others. Uh, it doesn't have quick release, but it seems like it's pretty well made. Let's see what we got here. All right, the KitchenAid just glided through there. These KitchenAid scoops seem like they're more scoopy looking than some of the others. The others are kind of flat. 
these are these two are the kitchen aid. That's the kitchen aids on top of the dollar store. It's like a tack in it or something. But kitchen aids more scoop looking. Let's try the thirty-five dollar bad boy here. Let me get a close up. All right, this is a massive scoop too. I'm really curious. I'll go into the coldest part of it right here. Trying to hold this so you guys can see on the camera, by the way. I'm gonna digest this for a minute here. I'm not eating all that right now, by the way. Well, that was round one. I've got some contenders in mind, but so I'm gonna come back a little bit for round number two. How about some Blue Bunny mint chocolate chip ice cream? This has been in the freezer for a while. It's very hard. This is much harder than the, than the other one. I'm gonna start off with a spoon because a lot of people use a spoon. Let's see how it compares to the others. I'm not gonna consider this in my final results, but I wanna see how a spoon works anyways. Ugh. Okay, well it, it penetrated the ice cream, but it's not really scooping. Ugh. I would say the spoon is not doing so good because this ice cream is quite hard. Not impressive. Let's go to the dollar store ice cream scoop. Okay, well, even though it seems kind of flimsy, it's, it's getting through it-ish. Yeah, I, kind of. Uh, maybe not so great. For the really hard ice cream, this is, it's working, but it's not working that well. Let's try the Farberware. Okay, well, it's kind of getting there. Okay, the Farberware is not impressing me. Not only that, but the handle isn't really impressing me that much either. All right, let's go with the OXO. It feels better made, so it should be a better choice here. Oh, the OXO is pushing through a little bit better. Ah. Mm, I guess it's not bad. Let's keep going. Ah. Ah. So smooth. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not feeling the oxo either that much. Next up, KitchenAid. Oh, it, I can feel this cutting through there much better. Oh wow! Look at that. It's a lot smoother. It's it's takes much less force, and it's certainly cutting through the ice cream much better than the others did. That is uh, not a bad showing from the $11 KitchenAid. I like this one. I like the ergonomic grip. It's actually very heavy. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's like the KitchenAid. It just cuts right through it. Of course, uh, the KitchenAid is a lot cheaper than this one, but I would say that the KitchenAid and the $35 one are actually pretty good. The question is, would you pay $35 for an ice cream scoop over $11 for a similar one? That is the question that I don't know. But as far as hardened ice cream goes, whoops, uh, I would say an impressive showing by the $35 ice cream scoop. These three in the spoon didn't fare so well, but these two did. I wanted to point out that if you really want to scoop ice cream effectively, leave the ice cream out for 10 minutes. Some people put it in the microwave or dipping it in warm water. That's really the best way to scoop ice cream. But I wanted to see which one of these manual scoops was the best without any of that extra work. So now it's time to rank these ice cream scoops. And I think that I really obviously have two groups of them. I have, I got the low end models and the high end models. If I'm gonna rank these from five to one, I gotta pick an order for these three. I'm gonna say that when you factor in performance and price, I'm gonna say the Farberware is number five. I wasn't really impressed by any of the scoops that it did. The handle's kind of janky. Not impressed by the Farberware at all. It was close for number four between these two. I think considering the price, I'm gonna say number four is the OXO. I don't think it really was very, very impressive. Better than the Farberware. When you consider the price, I think the OXO is number four and the dollar store is number three. It was, it's cheaply made, it's not real heavy, but considering that it's only a buck and it still performed about as well as the other two, 
dollar store, I'm gonna say is a solid number three. Now between these two, I'm gonna say number two is the $35 ice cream scoop. I think they were about even, but when you consider the price, 35 versus 11, you gotta go with this one as number two. And the KitchenAid, number one. Now KitchenAid was also my number one can opener. I have no affiliation with the KitchenAid. Just happens to be that they came out number one on two reviews in a row. But I really think that factor in the price and performance, KitchenAid number one, I would say just performance, you might wanna consider this deluxe luxury ice cream scoop. So have you used any of these ice cream scoops or are there other ice cream scoops I should use in a future video? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures, videos as I go, and please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, Freaking Reviews.